Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, Je ne sais quoi. We are returning back here from last night, where we achieved our very first orbit, and now my plan for the night is to, well, first of all, find our... YouTube playthrough right here. Okay, cool. So, where we have, where we left off last night is we achieved our first orbit and we collected 150 science points that we have to spend now. So, let's hop right into our research and development building and we can grab advanced rocketry. So we have a few new parts to play with. We have a nose cone, we have more engines. We have a vacuum optimized engine, us, which is new from the Reliant, which is a sea level engine. So we can get that. We can get general construction, which will give us some more fuel tanks and launch clamps and crew cabins and stuff. We are going to grab basic science as our last, actually, last science for right now, because we don't have any more science points. So today, we are going to do something very important, since one of the science things we just got is a, no, not the radar, altimeter here, the high gain antenna, we can start setting up a, a relay network around Kerbin so that our future missions we can maintain signal integrity. But unfortunately, we need a couple more parts. For one, we need a probe core. We don't have that. It would be very nice to have one. We also need solar panels so we can power it indefinitely. So, what to do? Uh, we're gonna grab our pea pod, I believe that's what it's called. No, the onion reentry module. We're just gonna do grab a little bit more science tools. Uh, here, we can grab a science junior. We can grab one of these fuel tanks. We'll grab our terrier. We can grab a decoupler. 1.25 meter decoupler, since that's all we kind of have. We'll grab our Mothra f tank again. Um, I looked it up last night. It's eluding me once more. When it's what mod pack that's from. Not gonna merge this, we're just gonna steal that bottom stage. And this time we are actually going to be trying to go into a higher altitude orbit. So we can grab a little bit more science. So we're just putting together a vehicle that looks fine. And we're just gonna say high orbits, and then we can uh, throw some winglets on here because I don't know how this is going to behave. And we can launch. Nice and easy. No problems at all. And we've loaded in. Now we can hit space and head up to space. Just gonna accelerate time a little bit. Uh, there we go, we have auto strut this time. We got some struts, nice. Now I can fast forward to our heart's content uh, after I strut everything down, of course. And we can just chill on our way up to space. Oh. A little bit too fast there. <laughs> Again, the clouds are from 
the environmental visual enhancements mod and the atmosphere is from scatterer well the atmosphere and the water are both from the scatterer mod which looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion um i'm running off an i5 9600kf which I don't believe I have overclocked right now, but I have successfully overclocked it to 5 gigahertz. I need to get some additional cooling on my VRM so I can push it a little bit further. I don't need to. Um, I don't have any performance constraints right now, but it's just kind of fun to see how far I can push it, really. And here we are heading up into space. We have a little bit of a wobble, but that's fine. That's nothing to worry about. That's only 3.3 .3 science points. It's not that much, so I don't think it's really worth grabbing. That's okay. We are still stable, still headed off into outer space on this lovely evening here tonight. Actually, when I say evening, I'm lying. It's like almost 1 a.m. my time. But hey ho, that's fine. We're Nighthawks here. It does not matter. I do not judge you. There is no judgment. Because. Why should there be? Hmm? Why should there be? And now we're just looking at our science. Uh, I can re reset that, reset that one, keep the material study, actually for now. Uh, I'm trying to, to get into high orbit. I don't remember exactly what point that at is at, but I'm just going to go until it looks relatively okay. A million meters, that should be fine. Going to warp up to Apoapsis. There we go. Crossing radiation belt, that is Kerbalism, and that is a good indication we have actually achieved our high orbit. Well, this isn't really an orbit, this is suborbital, because we don't have a periapsis, but this is space high over court. Kerbin, and the goo feels right at home here. Wonderful. Since our science junior was taken in low orbit in space near Kerbin, we can go ahead and reset that because we have Jep here. He is a pilot. He cannot reset experiments, so it's one and done here. But what we can do is we can do that. We can open it. We can conduct our material science. I believe this was 40 science, and now it's 60 science, so that's wonderful. So I can do a crew report, grab our 12 science points, do an EVA, do an EVA re uh, report, 19 science. All we're doing is doing an EVA to collect all of that precious science. Uh, you know what? I actually didn't expect to be able to do this. So I don't have all of the science. So yeah, that's fine though. That's nothing. We can do this again if need be. Do I really want to? A new, but I will if I have to, and then I can just uh, fast forward in post. That's a okay. There's nothing wrong with that. We're just gonna burn a little bit. Psst reduce our velocity so we don't burn up. I'm doing a really terrible job at this, and that's fine. So we just depleted all our fuel, we got all our science, and now I can eject one last time. Um, um, okay, that is, uh, Unexpected. Okay. That was supposed to be couple. Uh, I'm not sure if that's like a mod doing it or if I'm just doing something wrong. I don't quite remember. <laughs> 
But this is mm, not an ideal situation. But that, our science junior should explode first, and then we can enter a mostly stable. Yeah, we'll be okay. We're past the burn of the arrow forces now. I was scared for a sec there, but we're okay. You know, I think we're gonna have to do this real Kerbal uh, Russian style as a tribute to this beautiful pot that we have here. Now you see the Russians, they didn't have an ocean to land into. So what they would do in the early days, they would have an ejection seat and they would eject out of their pod before it hit the ground. The pod would hit the ground. Um, if the cosmonaut was still in there, they would probably be severely injured and or killed. I don't remember the exact specifics of that, but they would um, basically eject and then they would parachute down. But it looks like we we're over the ocean, so... Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I don't have anything more to do here. And then we can... Nah, that's fine. I can just do that. I can do that. Uh, whoops. There we go. Now we got a parachute. Gorgeous. And then we can just come down for a nice, safe landing in the ocean. And then... We would hit recover and collect our glorious, glorious science. In the real world, we would have stayed in the capsule, la da 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 da. The Navy's ships would come and rescue us from it. Uh, likely an aircraft carrier, because US has, like, had a really big Navy. Still do, but whatever. I don't really want to talk about the US because of certain things, and I don't want to make this channel political. That is just not the intention here. My intention here is just to make a channel where we can chat and we can talk about science and technology and kind of like the culture of schooling and workforce and stuff like that. I'm gonna try and keep politics out of this because that's not a vibe. Oh. I thought I had more signs. Hang on, let's try and recover that capsule, because I do not know. I don't know what happened there. I thought I grabbed the science. Maybe I didn't. Uh, but in any case, it's not that big a deal. We can just go over here and coast down. Or not. Um, cool. Does anyone know how much science that was? Uh, I mean, it's getting kind of late. It's almost 1 a.m. I don't really feel like re-recording this. So we're just going to go like this. And just, I think it was maybe... I'm going to be conservative and say like 30 science for that. Because I remember... No. No, no, I remember the... The material bay was supposed to be... 60 science, so I started at 20. So this should be... 80 science? And then maybe like, an extra 20? For the other experiments? Okay. We'll call it even at that. So from that, we can go and we can do the Probodobodine Octo. And we have a few solar arrays here. And then we have the high gain antenna. Wonderful. So from that, we can hop back into our vehicle assembly building and actually do what I intended to do tonight, which is uh, start building out a relay network. So this is going to be the same ship. I'm just going to cut and paste. 
So, let's see, what do we need? No, I don't have any of those parts yet. Cool. We can go open that. We can have a... All your probes are going to need some electricity, so we're gonna throw in some batteries, throw in some solar panels. We can do high quality on that. We can slide these in just for the sake of realism, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, put a decoupler on top here, like that. Then we are going to put an aerodynamic nose cone. Yep, that one on. Then we need our relays. No, not that one. Here we go. Beautiful. Coupler. <sighs> Fuel tank. Terrier. Grab this rocket here. Merge. Grab that. Put that on there. And this is our little relay. So, well, get rid of that. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to hit launch, throw on some music, and do all four of these at the same time. So I'll see you in a little bit. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed whatever music editor me feels like putting in. So we have all three of our very small relay satellites up here. <laughs> so, I guess I can explain a little bit of why I did the orbits that I did. Um, first of all, I was just imprecise in my planning, but as a satellite comes away from the body that is orbiting, it slows down. So we can spend more time at a higher altitude. And because of that, we can be a little bit less precise in our orbits. We don't need as many to have made to maintain full coverage. See here we do have three satellites on this side, so I might just send up another one over here. But I think this is fine for now. We only have a small portion of time where we don't have full, full coverage. Here I can just show our network, yeah. So if we had a ship over here, we can see here, we can see, we can see over here too. And that's because we have these large, el very elliptical orbits, giving a ton of time when we're furthest away from the planet. And as you can see, when we come back down, 
towards our periapsis or the closest point in our orbit, we speed up significantly so we don't spend that much time down here. So we don't need like perfect equatorial over orbits or anything. And it's just kind of mes mesmerizing to watch, you know? Just watch as these like reconfigure themselves. Just give that a couple more seconds. And if there's anything else you would like me to discuss, please leave it in the comments and we can discuss that next time. But that's all for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much and good night.